CWF Canada brings Wrestleusion to the Scotiabank Convention Center tonight, featuring stars from the WWE, Global Force, and the independent scene. There will be winners and losers, but the big winner tonight is the Canadian Tire Jumpstart Program. Tonight is Resolution. We do it once a year. It's um, our big anniversary show. And tonight is our first time in Niagara Falls. It's kind of our hometown, and it's kind of great to be here in our first time. This is their seventh Resolutions. What are you looking forward to the most about tonight? I'm um, looking for a great show. I think we have, um, we have a great charity online. Uh, we are donating money towards the Canadian Tire Jumpstart program. Um, it's a great program because we have a wrestling school in St. Catharines and um, we actually have kids that come from the Jump Start into it and we also are, are co-owners co with Dance Fit Canada. So it's a dance school out of St. Catharines and the same thing, a lot of uh, kids come in through uh, Jump Start. Tell me a little bit about who is going to be wrestling tonight. So tonight we have featuring, we got Hornswoggle from WWE. Um, he's actually, I think, was employed with WWE for about 10 years, and um, he was in a movie, what, two years ago, I believe, uh, The Leprechaun Origins, but um, we also got James Storm here. He was with WWE and TNA. Uh, James Storm, I've been wrestling myself for almost 20 years, and I remember 20 years ago, I wanted to wrestle this guy in the worst way, so it's kind of neat because I've met so many s celebrity wrestlers through the years and wrestled a lot of them myself. And he's one that I have never met until tonight, so it's, it's kind of a privilege. Um, we have Tessa Blanchard, who is recently in uh, May Young Classic with WWE. Um, I was going to ask if there were any women. Yeah, yeah we got a woman. Uh, we got Sin with us. He's a very creepy clown type gimmick. He was um, in, in uh, WWE and TNA. So we got quite a few guys. We got Tyson Dukes and Cody Diener, who also done some stuff with WWE and, and TNA as well. Dylan, is this your first time to Niagara Falls? I was here, not here, but to the falls when I was a kid. Went on a family vacation. It was uh, I drew, when we drove over the bridge today because I flew into Buffalo. We drove over the bridge. It was like reminiscent of when I was a child doing the same thing. So it was pretty neat. Most of your fans know you from WWE. Now you're independent. Is that a little bit different than the travel schedule you had before? So uh, I've been uh, on my own independently for a year now. Literally, I mean, a couple months over a year, and it's, I'm busier now than I have been in a long time. It's every weekend. I have one Friday in August off, one Sunday in September off, and that's literally it for weekends. But it's fun. I love this. I'm, I'm, I'm a pro wrestling fan. That's, that's what I've grown up on. I, that's what I've always wanted to do. And now I don't have to answer to anybody but me. If I want to be home with my son, I can be home with him anytime. Just take the weekend off, and it's but it's it's fun again. It's it's really like re I don't know we relit the flame that, of, to love wrestling again. It's, it's, it's all I know. What is it like meeting your fans here tonight? It's so cool. Like I mean, I've been doing this. I was with WWE for just under 10 years, and for them to say, hey, I remember when you debuted compared to oh, Aaron, or the last thing I did with WWE. I realized how many different age groups I reached and it's kind of crazy to me in reality because it went so fast like 10 years flew by and but it was it was awesome I mean it's it's that's my thing I like I love meeting people I'm, I'm it makes me remember things that I probably that I, that I forget because there's just so much going on Dan what brings you here tonight I'm here to see the wrestlers at uh, CWF I'm a big fan I've uh, been a fan for years and uh, I enjoy I've been enjoying it forever, so it's, uh, it's fun to see it live in Niagara Falls. Okay, is, so is Brooklyn here going to be a wrestling fan as well when she grows up? Well, I told her, and uh, I showed her a couple moves, and she's been practicing on me, so I kind of regret showing her, but I think she's really excited. Uh, I think it'll open up her eyes as well, and uh, we can have a little fun uh, daddy-daughter kind of a night for us, so I think it'll be a, a lot of fun tonight for us. Oh, and so when she's old enough to start dating, like, are you going to be using some wrestling moves on the guys? Well, actually, I think she will use the wrestling moves on the guys themselves, so I don't think I have to worry too much. She's pretty tough herself. <laughs> Next for CWF Wrestling, uh, we have just recently did a, a signed episode with Vice TV out of uh, British Columbia. They followed us around for about a week. They did a huge documentary on us that will be airing in January of 2018. And um, CWF, we travel right across Canada. Last year we did 97 shows across Canada. 
Uh, we strongly do a very positive message for anti-bullying and drug and alcohol prevention. So we do a lot of talks with the kids, uh, especially on bullying. But um, we really push towards kids. We help kids a lot. We do camps with kids. And um, so we're just going to keep traveling across Canada and doing what we do. There were a lot of body slams and near falls tonight as the crowd booed the villains and cheered on the heroes. But win or lose, Canadian Tire Jumpstart program took home the belt tonight. In Niagara Falls, reporting for The Source, I'm Jennifer Lilly.